following some breaking news this morning as crews are still working to put out an early morning house fire in Vancouver. It started about an hour and a half ago, right around 5 o'clock in the 1100 block of East 29th Street. Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg has been on scene throughout the morning and talked with fire officials. Brent, good morning to you. Chad, good morning. There are still hot spots that fire crews are trying to work to get extinguished right now. You can see there are still several dozen fire crews here. Uh, we just heard them uh, announce that some of these crews were going to be able to return to their stations. The American Red Cross just arrived on scene here. They're going to be talking with the homeowner who's very upset about what happened here. Uh, take a look at some very dramatic video that we have. It shows firefighters pulling out one of this woman's dogs. There were six chihuahuas inside this home here firefighters were able to pull one of the dogs out and give them to the uh, homeowner here we also spoke with a homeowner's uh, neighbor who was here he was able to run inside the home before firefighters got here he pulled five dogs out of the home he described the home as very cluttered he says he himself he is a dog lover and said when he heard the woman screaming he went inside to help it was bad stuff all over the place. You couldn't walk. I was walking on stuff. I mean, uh, it was it was bad. The dogs were climbing in the garbage. I was, I was throwing the garbage around. Dogs were running around. And luckily, all of those dogs were able to get out between firefighters and that good Samaritan here who went inside the home. Uh, we don't know. Some of the dogs uh, were not moving, we were told, but most of them were. So firefighters are right now going to try to figure out what they can do to salvage this home. But most of this home is pretty much destroyed here. Crews say they don't know what caused this fire. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6. All right, quite a scene there this morning, Brent. Thank you very much.